everybody we're going to do some phonics again today so today we're going to be looking at some phase four words so all the words today will have four sounds in okay first of all let's practice saying our phase two sounds that we know so you can pause the screen and see if you can practice saying all these sounds off you go okay now we're going to try our phase three so again, pause the screen and see if you can practice saying all of these phase three sounds. Off you go. Okay. So here on the screen now are some phase four words. So all of these words have got four sounds. So what I want you to do is I want you to have a go at reading them. I want you to see if you can write them down and put the sound buttons on them to help you read them. So pause the screen. Have a go at writing them, put the sound buttons on to help you read them. Off you go. OK, so shall we have a look at what you should have done? So let's look at our first word. If we put the sound buttons on to help us read it. Uh, mm, d sand. Well done. Let's try the next one. P brr, uh, mm, pram. Well done. Desk. J oh. mm. Jump. And then we have k oh. ah. p clap. Oh. Ah. G flag. Mm. Oh. Must. And the last one, st -op. stop. Well done. OK, so there's going to be some nonsense words, some alien words appear on the screen now. So I want you to have a go at sounding them out and trying to read them. Here we go. So that should read next. Let's try the next one. Okay, and that one says canned. Okay, so that one should say blup. Okay, and that one is wast. And then we have flum. Okay, and that last one is Tesk. Well done reading those alien words. Okay, this time I want you to do some writing. So we're going to have a look at some pictures and I want you to see if you can spell the words to match the pictures. So you need to use your um, fingers to help you. So remember, these words have got four sounds, so you need four fingers. So listen to the word milk. See if you can put those sounds onto your fingers and then have a go and writing the word milk milk have a go and then we'll have a look at what that word should look like okay so there's the word milk so you should have heard m i o k milk so well done if you spelled that correctly let's try another one okay so this is the color pink pink so again, use your fingers, put those sounds on your fingers and have a go at writing down the word pink. OK, let's have a look at what that word should look like. There we go. Pink. P -i -n -k. Pink. Well done. Let's try another one. So now we have a tent, a tent. So again, listen to those sounds. See if you can spell that word. Four sounds. Tent. OK, let's have a look what it should look like. There we go. T -e -n -t tent. Well done. OK, and the last one. Hand. Hand. So again, listen to the sounds and try to spell that word. OK. So this is what that sh word should look like. H -a -n -d hand. 
Well done. Okay, so some yes or no questions now. So what you need to do is you need to read these sentences and you need to decide whether the answer is yes or no. So you could write these sentences down and you could then write the answer. You could um, read them and maybe record yourself reading them and then send that to your teacher and answer it, whether it's yes or no. OK, so it's up to you how you do it. See if you can read these sentences and then answer it yes or no. So that's the first one. Let's have a look at the next one. OK, so read it and then you need to say, is the answer yes or is the answer no? And the next one. So read it. Is it a yes or is it a no? Okay. And the last one. So is the answer yes or is the answer no? Okay, so when you've done that, we would love to see some photographs or some videos of you reading these sentences and we can't wait to see what you do. Bye, everybody.